Oh guys, so you can see one more video that I came about the Django and in today's Django video I am telling you in the deploy Django video I am telling you the Django.config If you don't know in the deploy of Django how, what is Django.config so in today's video your whole concept will be clear about it if you see this video start to end and please hit a like button share your friends and subscribe to my channel and do not forget to all the notification bell also so you never miss our future later videos so I didn't take long time so let's move from our screen and let's do a coding with laughing so guys in today's Django video I'm telling about how to deploy a Django in the deploy a Django I'm telling about the Django John config like in the previous video I told you about how to create a uh, in the previous video I told you about uh, uh, how to create a requirements and I told you about the how to create a requirements and we make one file of the requirement.txt like in the previous video so in today's video we like in the previous video I told you about in today's video we are telling about the django.config file how to create a django.config file so without wasting any time let's get started so now provider specific settings we have chosen AWS as our hosting provider okay we choose AWS and in the previous uh, little bit videos I told you about how to create a AWS account that whole thing okay and elastic bean stock as a service to deploy the Django project mean that we choose a AWS as our hosting provider and elastic bean stock as a service to deploy the Django project and it's some specify specific requirements dot eb extension folder it requires that you create a folder on the root level of your project called dot e, uh, eb extensions how to create it let me tell you go on your here and like here you create your folder like okay come here right click it add a folder sorry not here let me click here and okay add a folder and I'm giving my folder name is like uh, eb extension like that uh, one for folder I remade it and I'm putting this folder in my members like that not here here okay where is my folder has been gone where 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 it is okay now like that i make it my folder so what we can do now let me come here create a django.config file how to create it in the eb.extensions folder create a file uh, called django.config open and file insert these things how to create the django.config file let me tell you click on your eb.extensions folder and create click on the uh, click on to the add a file and write here django.config and when you create this file django.config and insert these type of things okay when you insert these type of thing let me tell you what you can do like that copy it and then paste it okay but uh, let me go here and Okay, sorry, I do not write here dot py. I write here dot py. Now, if I go here, rename it. Okay, so now what we can do, we come here. Note that these steps are specified for AWS and Elastic Bean stock, but every provider has some provider specific settings. Okay, every pro provider has. The next step is to wrap all the dependencies into the .zip file, which you will learn in the uh, in the next chapter. Okay, in the next chapter you will see how uh, in the next chapter you see how to wrap all the dependencies into the into one .zip file, which you will learn in the next chapter. Okay, in today's video we see about how in the deployer Django I tell you about Django.config. I know the the Django videos are very smaller because. Because of I am making the videos in the past, I am not very really making the video in the one video. I am making the video in the past, so that my video is very smaller. But I hope you can enjoy this class. If you enjoy, so please like this video, share your friends, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to all the notification bell also so you never miss our future later videos. 
and please tell me in the comment section below which type of big video you will want in this week so tell me in the comment section below and for the business inquiries please uh, email me and my email is uh, riyanvik1253 at the rate gmail.com this is my email for the business inquiries you will be uh, email me in that email okay and for today good bye